Well, welcome into another pre-recorded Madigan Truck Sim video. My name is Kenneth Ian College Audio Gamer. I do apologise for the voice. I am loaded with coal. Um, the 1.50 has finally dropped. Uh, it's not, a, not, out, not out for Euro Truck yet. It's out on American Truck. Um, so as we, as we loaded up, um, they have changed the menu layouts. It is a more... Personally, I think it's much better, to be fair. Um, I think it looks a little bit more modern, a bit more crisper. Um, pretty much as before. I mean, everything's the same. It's just different. It's just a different look to it. <laughs> um, we have a custom profile. Um, so, like I said, the... The menus are pretty much the same. <laughs> yeah, see, so it's pretty much as before. Um, yeah, so it's just a little bit more of a crisp, clean look to it, personally. Um, I haven't tried the game. I did have a little look last night at the menu. I haven't actually gone into the game yet. Obviously, I am away quite a lot this week, so I thought we'll try and get in, get a quick video done on it um, while it's fresh. So hopefully, it, it, it went active on Tuesday. So hopefully, I'll definitely be uploaded on the Wednesday the day after. The day after so, uh, like I say, we'll try. We will be doing a live stream at the weekend on it. Uh, again, so the main menus, again, a little bit more crisper, a little bit more clean. Um, instead of the information down the sides here, yeah, it's now spread out across the top. Um, yeah, so you've got a menu button down the side now as well. And again, if we just go into um, blog, um, truck dealers, and yeah, we'll just have a look. Have a look. So you see the the the, the layout's pretty much as before. Um, I see all that appears is the the icons are a little bit different, a little bit more, a little bit more modern, a little bit more clean. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just dive straight in and we'll get a job done. Like I see, I haven't even loaded, I haven't even gone and do the game gameplay yet. So I don't know what I don't know what has or hasn't changed gameplay wise. Let's see. We'll, just had a little look at the menus last night, very, very briefly. There is a job just on the road from where we, from where we are, so... I don't know why he hasn't. Just going to reload truck here again. I say I am loaded with calls. So do do apologise for the squeaky voice. There we go. The truck overlay has come back on now. So that's fine. So yeah, we've got the truck set up.
So let's head up and find the gear. Right, two seconds. There we go, I did. It has reset my settings. Just be aware, it may it does sometimes reset the settings. So you might have to go in and just double check. Go settings. Um, for some reason to change the main ever so slightly. And that was a dead end. So like I said, I do apologise for the squeaky voice. But just before we go any further, there is some... There are some features. Gameplay features. Um, which was mentioned... Yeah, lane assist mode. Um, so the lane assist modes. The lane departure mode warning audibly allows warn, warn you when you're about to leave the lane. And the, la the la lane keep support, which is the one below, will automatically stay as your truck to keep it from leaving the lane. So we'll turn it on and we'll see. We'll do the warning, we'll not do the support. We'll not turn the support on. Hold on. So of course, just Bear in mind, this is the experimental beta. Um, so do use it at your own risk. Um, back up any profiles in advance. Is the best thing I can see. Um, there we go, we'll do that one. So yeah, let's say just bear in mind it is in the experimental beta release. So if you do install the beta, bear in mind as the your profile will be locked to the beta. You won't be able to go back to 1.49 on that profile. So if you do want to create a backup of your profile first. Which personally I would suggest anyway. Ready to roll. There we go. 
Yeah, it should be about 17 minutes in game time. Now, of course, there's a bit of beta version, so there are going to be bugs and glitches occur during the testing process. Yeah, time of recording um, is Wednesday. Hopefully, we'll have this uploaded tonight. And uh, the bit did go live last night. Um, there's no news on the Euro Truck pair, pair there. Um, they're normally out to get that, so we could see Euro Truck towards the end of the week. Right. Yeah, so that is that old audible beep. Changing lanes. So I believe it is the new game engine, I believe. Or the updated game engine. I'm guessing if we're indicating, we don't get the warning, do we? No, we don't. So if we just change lane without indicating, yeah, we get that. We get the warning, so it obviously takes into account that you are indicating the turn, so you don't get that warning. Let's I do like I do like the new menus um, and the new icons. I'm just a little bit more refined, a little bit more polished and up to date. Of course, Touchwood. I don't think there's any changes. Performance wise, um, But yeah, we will be doing a live stream on Saturday, hopefully evening, and we will be setting the convoy up. Um, it's, it's the usual convoy set up. Um, no mods installed, just literally um, the default game.
Yeah, uh, anyone is welcome to join in the convoy. Um, we are uh, you have eight chests. We round about six thirty, seven o'clock UK time. Um, so do stay tuned. Uh, yes, anyone is welcome to join that convoy. Um, it is open to all. Um, there is a Discord voice chat as well. Uh, we do need to be 18 or above to join the voice chat. Um, but it is optional. You don't have to join it if you don't want to. But the voice chat is there if you're over 18, if you want to join in. Um, you will be heard live on the stream, though. That's, so just bear that in mind. If, you, if you're not comfortable, then obviously that is fine. Let's see, I do apologise for the... Um, this squeaky croaky voice. I'm um, loaded with flu. But as we stay in show business, the show must go on. As the answer, unfortunately, it's a busy week for me, so this is probably the only chance I'm going to get to have a look at the update for the weekend. So I'll hopefully get it uploaded this evening as well, so we'll be on top of the ball, hopefully. Uh, Performance-wise, there doesn't seem to be any major Performance hits have not changed my settings. Uh, my settings are as they were before. I know a lot of people were worrying, were concerned about um, new game engine being more demanding on the systems, but that was the first real little glitch there. But in general, like I say, there doesn't seem to be anything um, changed whatsoever, performance-wise. Of course, that may be different for older systems. I'm obviously I'm in a fairly modern system. Let's say the settings we've got are the settings we had for 1.49. Again, a little tiny glitch there. Well, not a glitch, but possibly a drop of frames. But of course, it is beta. Um, so that is always to be expected on the beta version.
We slow down just a little bit too much there. Spin on this skin, yes, we Seriously, we will be looking at the um, the 1.5 OP that more in depth on Saturday, doing a live the live stream. Um, seriously, it will be the next live stream as well. Um, we will be setting the convoy up. Um, it will be open to anybody who wants to join us in it. No mods installed. Um, so literally, just here's, here's canvas. Any DLCs you have. The, better, the more the better. If you do want to join in, um, there's, uh, there's no mods installed. Unless those mods are optional, if they are optional mods, then that's fine. Um, but if they're not optional mods, then you will not be able to join the convoy. It will only be optional mods available. If you have any mods installed, double check them. If they're not optional, they don't have optional in the uh, manifest, then they will not work in the convoy. Um, but like I say, we also have a voice chat via Discord. Anyone over 18 who wants to join, um, I say the only caveat is, is the voice chat is broadcast on the live stream. So if you're not comfortable or you're not wanting to be on the live stream, again, then. You see, that's perfectly fine as well. You don't have to. It is totally optional. Unless they hopefully the Euro Truck Sim that will be pretty much will not be far behind. So they'll not be out together or in the same week. So this came out Tuesday. So the Euro truck could possibly be Thursday or the week after we're in the wrong lane. Right. We were nearly at the end of the concert, the journey.
but the end of the end of the run, we will have a look and see what is different in the open beta. We'll see if we can find out um, what's in the what exactly has been included in the beta. This is our destination. Oh dear, we went to the wrong end. There we go, there was our cargo drop off point. There we go. So that is our first look at the 1.50 1 open beta. So there we go. What we'll do is we're just gonna just gonna exit the game, and then we'll quickly have a look through the log. Um, so it's still DirectX 11 for now. Um, that uh, brand new user interface, which is what we've already seen. Um, the California map has had a rework. Um, So the International Lone Star and LTs have had a bit of a revamp. Um, yeah, so the options now have a bit of a, a tool tip. To tell you what the options will do, Linus, we've, we've seen user interface, yeah, blah, blah, blah.
So I'm not entirely sure if it is the new game engine. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, please join us on Saturday for the live stream featuring it as once again. Until then, bye-bye.